hey, hey, it's Del from Let's Get Inky and time to get junk journaly and get all my words mixed up. I'm working on my junk journal. I am, this is my next goal to finish. Um, I'm hoping to get it done by mm, perhaps March, end of March, April next year. We'll see how we go. Um, this video is actually, usually I have Let's Get Inky videos up on Friday, but this one's going up a little bit early as a sneaky little peek early. I am using the, I'm actually using a scrapbooking kit today. I'm using the December main kit from Citrus Twist. If you'd like more information on the kits, you can head to their website. And I wanted to kind of challenge myself to use a scrapbook kit in art journaling because quite often I start my art journal pages with paint and stencils in mind but I wanted to try and flip it and have paper and embellishments in mind first. So I'm going through this beautiful beautiful paper first and I cut out this love always but I'm not sure if it makes the final cut. You'll have to wait and see. I grabbed this orangey floral paper first just because this photo was taken in a cafe and the lighting was very, very warm lighting. So I thought it went with the, and also my flaming orange hair, I thought it went with the, the tones of this picture quite well. I'm just, I'm actually measuring something, peeps. It's, I know it's a rare sight, but I wanted to get this paper the exact same size as the background page. So I just measured that out and I the pages that I'm working on in my junk journal are actually uh, just two plain, I think one's the back of a notepad, a really thin notepad page, which is why I want to adhere this scrapbook paper to it so that gives it a little bit more uh, substance, a little bit more strength. And then that right hand side page is a little bit thicker white uh, cardstock, I think, or white, a thick white printer paper. So I'm sticking that down. And at this moment, I didn't actually know what the page was going to do. I knew I wanted to use paint in some way, but I didn't quite know how. So I thought if I, if I had put paint straight onto this left-hand side page, um, because the paper was so thin, it would have really warped it and it wouldn't have been a good time. So I thought I would save the paint for the right-hand side. I've grabbed this pale pink paint from Dilusions and I'm just going to slap it all over that page with a flat wide paintbrush. Uh, they're my favorite brushes to work with. I just think that they, if you're wanting to cover a large surface or wanting the look of brush strokes, definitely go for a, a wider, flatter brush. So I'm just popping that paint on and to make the, the seam between the papery page and the painty page a little bit more seamless, I just uh, put the paint over the top of the seam and kind of squished it in the crevice there so you couldn't actually tell that I had stuck that piece of paper, pattern paper on. Then I grabbed this stencil. I think I've had this stencil for a long time. I think some someone found out where it was from. Could be TCW or uh, crafters, no, I think it could be TCW or memory box. It's one or the other. Um, and I just, I don't know where I picked it up from, but I wouldn't be available from there anymore, but you might be able to find it online somewhere. And I just wanted to do kind of some subtle florals. They look really, really vibrant on the camera, but they're not that in your face. Um, and I just wanted to kind of calm down that pattern paper a little bit and also make my pink splodgy paint splodge um, look a little less splodgy and like it was meant to be there. It had a purpose. So then I've got my photo and I'm just going to adhere this little bit of spotty tissue paper from my stash down. I just felt like the background, it needed, it needed a, another layer of paper that wasn't too opaque. It needed something a little bit see-through. So tissue paper is a good um, solution for that. 
I'm just kind of figuring out where I want it by sticking it to my photo first sticking all that down squashing down the tissue paper into the crease of the page so that it falls nicely on the next page and then adding a little bit more glue so then I had to figure out if I if I wanted a title or if I wanted a to use one of these giant embellishments uh, that crepe paper are putting out lately and so I settle on going through the giant pack of embellishments first and I feel like junk journals are a good place to put those layering pieces and tags that just seem a little too big for scrapbook page especially if you're doing six by twelve or eight and a half by eleven there's not as much um, I guess you could say real estate to work with and so I I tend to save those for my journals. I really loved that black floral frame um, and so I wanted to try and use that if I could. I'm going through the smaller pieces. So there are some smaller pieces in this pack which I am I was surprised to see and I was very happy to see which is good. Maybe they're listening and shrinking their pieces a little bit. Uh, and so I have my finalists, which is about 10 different pieces, I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to add more florals to this page or if it was florally enough and how I wanted to do it. When you're, if you're working in a journal, just be careful if you're adding embellishments of the uh, seam or the, the spine of the book, I guess, because sometimes embellishments don't like being near the spine and they might not adhere properly or you might need to fold them and score them before sticking them down so that they bend easily. I then settled on this hey, 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 and I, I don't actually know why, but I just, I felt like it, it was meant to be there. I also look like instead of a, I've just realized instead of a body, I have a floral body um, with the way that I've put those flowers, but I'm going with it. I'm just rolling with it. I look like my head is just sticking. It's like another flower on the stem. It's like, hello, I'm a flower. Ah, oh, it's, it's the early morning peeps. I'm sorry you had to witness my inner ramblings and thoughts about being a flower head. So then back on track with the layout, I am sticking some of these Heidi Swap words down and they've got gold foiling, which you know I do. I am quite partial to gold foiling. I am tossing up whether to buy a mink. Are there any mink owners out there? Let me know your thoughts. I do also have just a normal laminator, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, and I also have a laser printer so I don't know whether I should try using the laminator first and see if I like the finish of that uh, if you've tried both let me know your thoughts or if you have a mink do you uh, do you use it a lot that's what I worry about I feel like if if I don't if I have these scrapbook tools and they're not set up all of the time then I don't use them like my my big shot like my electric typewriter my sewing machine there they get I don't think of them because then I know this sounds very lazy but I have to set them up before I use them and I can't just zip over do the thing and then zip back and in my current craft room I'm in our spare room and there's not really unless I put a little table in front of the wardrobe, which is just for storage, I don't access it often. Um, there's not really anywhere to have things permanently set up. So yeah, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. I'm adding some of the stamps for this month as well. And I just wanted to add a little bit more because I've got that black of that hey, 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 and there's the black in the uh, flower stems on the left-hand side. I just felt like something needed to be black on the right-hand side, so I just pulled that across. Now, usually I don't put puffy things or thick embellishments in my journaling, but I did because I just couldn't resist the puffiness. And then for some reason, I decided to include some blue so I added this 
blue puffy uh, word down here on the right hand side and I felt like I needed some more blue and luckily I had a Posca Pink pen which was the exact same shade as that color it's one of my favorites like a periwinkle blue color or cornflower blue I guess uh, and so I'm adding some of that and then I decided hey let's go all out with the paint pens and add some pink in as well and then it's time for a doodly border using my pilot g2 pen for that and i really love how this page turned out and i think i think i will more often try and include some scrapbook papers in my junk journal i just i kind of i was thinking this with my um, this month I did a project life challenge for Citrus Twist and my challenge was to use paint on a project life page and it's in my head I have my different paper crafting hobbies and they have s not separate supplies some of the supplies of course go across all of them um, but some of them have supplies that I only use for that so in my head scrapbook paper is for scrapbooking and project life I don't often use it in my art journaling likewise paint is for art journaling and scrapbook pages it's not for my project life so I challenge you to try and challenge your supplies and use them for something that you usually wouldn't so see what you can come up with and and kind of push your supplies to the limit thanks so much for watching today peeps I hope you have had a lovely week and that you have a lovely weekend it's Friday tomorrow yay and I'll see you very soon bye